What are the top things to do in Torrey Pines in San Diego, California? Find out next on Jaycation. What's up, Jaycationers? Welcome back to another video here in the San Diego series. Today, we are exploring Torrey Pines and its surrounding areas. So right now we are at the Torrey Pines Glider Port just outside of it near the parking lot overlooking all of La Jolla down to the cliffs. Now there's a lot of restricted areas here because you're right off the cliffs but you got some beautiful views off the Pacific Ocean. Now if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notifications on my newest videos here all over San Diego and if you guys want to check out my Patreon it really helps me through my journey on YouTube. Also guys if you have any suggestions on future videos here in San Diego, possibly Las Vegas, please let me know in the comment section below. Now let's go explore Torrey Pines, the Torrey Pines hiking, and some of the food spots around here. All right, Jaycationer, so across the way, this is the glider port. This is where they take off and land, and they just glide through the cliffs up and down La Jolla and Torrey Pines. I don't know about that. I'm a little too scared. My buddy Ryan, shout out to my buddy Ryan, he works here and he's offered to do one of these things, but I don't know. I've gone skydiving, but I don't know about the trust in the wind. So down the highest cliffs in all of San Diego is Black's Beach. And Black's Beach is infamously known for being a nude beach, well, at least part of it. And it's a little ways to get down there and it's very famous here in San Diego. Right across the way there is this nice overlook if you've been a long time Jaycation follower, we have been here before with my friend Haley Dasovich. So shout out to Haley Takes On The World in YouTube. Now, as you walk through the dirt trails over here, it's really uh, uneven. So just make sure that you're watching your steps and being really careful where you go. But it's a beautiful area to soak into view and there's plenty of parking at the Toy Pines Glider Port. Check this out. So, you get up on this little lock box and you can balance yourself up and look at this view. Right down there is Black's Beach. There is a trail that leads down to it. So over behind me is where the Torrey Pines Golf Course is and the Torrey Pines Hiking Trail. So we're gonna head over that way. We're gonna try to check out the lodge. Now you can go through these little cracks and crevices and take some pictures. So this is the trail that will lead you all the way down to the water. It's a steep incline coming back up. So that's as far as I'm going. So in the distance, just across the street is University of California, San Diego, UCSD and this is a pretty big parking lot yeah there's a lot of spots here if you want to go hiking there's also this overlook right here where you can order food and drinks and hang out Falconry School, total raptor experience. There's nobody in there. So it costs you about $175 for a paraglider flight and $225 for a hang glider flight. Hi right, guys, we are now on Toy Pines Road. To the right of me are a bunch of science centers. My dad used to work here for 25 plus years, General Atomic, so I grew up in this area. It's also a little business park and some schools around here like National University and a few little clinics. Right now we're on John J. Hopkins Drive and this is the Scripps Institute where they do a lot of research. Next up guys we're gonna head to the Toy Pines Golf Course and the Lodge. Now even though the Toy Pines Golf Course and the Lodge is to the left of you when you're coming north you exit to the right and you kind of have to go under this overpass. All 
Hi, Jake Asianers. So we found parking. Right across the way is a little golfing range. And then you get over here to the golf course. Golf is the perfect social distance game. Check out this nice putting green here. Got your Torrey Pine sign. So we're gonna walk into the Torrey Pines Lodge. Shout out to my cousins, Chamina and Edgar. They got married here years back and their reception was here at the lodge and it was a really fun wedding. I even recall finding a certain someone's ring that a certain someone threw across the lobby. That was the reception hall right there. And they have a nice little patio area here with a fire burning here in the chimney. Since it's hit in fall, this part of the green isn't so green. Looks like you got a little mini outdoor event going on right here with the swimming pool through these gates. I remember taking a family picture up on these steps. This is where they took the wedding picture. I believe in one of these hallways, under one of these dressers is where I found my cousin's ring. Wow, that was like 16, 17 years ago. It was definitely in this ballroom right here. The Maurice Braun Ballroom. I remember even hanging out in this patio right here. Really nice patio. Check this out, there's a little exit right here. Then you got a sign, San Diego, Los Angeles. So that was actually pretty cool to take a little lap around. You know, I'm not much of a golfer, even though I do have my left-handed golf club sitting in the garage. Yeah, so that's Toy Pines Lodge and the Toy Pines Golf Course. Now, I think I'm starting to get a little hungry, so I'm gonna grab some grub before we go on the Toy Pines hiking trail. I would recommend the free parking. It's really difficult to get, but over on this side to my left, uh, that parking's free. So if you're here on the weekends, it's harder, but on the weekdays, I don't think it's as bad. There's also parking spots across the way to the right near where the railroad tracks are. And we're about to eat lunch around this area. This is also the beautiful overlook where you can watch trains pass by. State Beach parking, just turn right on McGonigal Road and Del Mar Scenic Parkway. All right, Jake Asianers, it's lunchtime. Now we're in this area where the border of Del Mar, Carmel Valley, and Torrey Pines is. And there is a Bird Rock Coffee Roasters location here. And it's a beautiful view in the patio overlooking Torrey Pines. And we're gonna have lunch here at Roberto's. Got my California burrito. Now, California burritos in San Diego, they range from anywhere from $8.99 to 10.99 this was 10.43 now i have had fatter burritos that's what she said this is a great mexican food authentic mexican food spot with a beautiful view of the train tracks and the and partly of tory pines so let's dig into this i usually cut my burritos in half and i don't kill burritos right away but check that out That's the inside. French fries, sour cream, carne asada. Hi, right, Jake Asianers, now it's time to dig in to a California burrito here at Roberto's. Now, I would rate this place about a six and a half, seven out of 10 in terms of the authentic Mexican food spots. Uh, Roberto's is probably the most common authentic Mexican food spot you will find around San Diego. This spot just happens to give you a great view and a great atmosphere. Cheers, here's the California burrito. Oh yeah, I call this the typical San Diego carne asada. It's not the best carne asada, but it's not terrible carne asada. And it's not just normal good carne asada. It's pretty great compared to the rest of the world. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like the burritos are a little smaller during the pandemic. Maybe they're cutting back a bit. Now I'm planning on doing a top five California burritos in San Diego video. This isn't one of them, but you're seeing it right now in the Story Pines video. So stay tuned for that top five California burritos in San Diego. I'm gonna enjoy this before I go on the hike. 
All right, JK Shiners, now that I've scarfed down half of that burrito, it's time to go for a hike and walk it off on Torrey Pines Hiking Trail. And if you're looking for coffee, you definitely want to pick up Bird Rock. Also down the way, there's an Italian restaurant over here. I think it's called Pont Vecchio. Yeah, they have some good Italian food. Right down the way is the 5 Freeway, and that's Torrey Hills. And past Torrey Hills is where I live in Mira Mesa. Perfect parking spot, look at that. Look at this, prime parking right off the water. Unfortunately, for all you dog lovers, no dogs allowed on the beach. I'm in no way, shape, or form in shape to go on this hike right now. So I'm just gonna take it slowly up the hill, take you through a few trails, a few viewpoints, and then call it a vlog. A lot of the videos that I've been watching here about Torrey Pines is only about this hiking trail. So I hope you guys enjoyed the golf course and the glider port. And there's the hill we're about to go up, right there. So this parking lot right here is $20 for the day. 20 bucks. Stay away from the base of the cliffs. All right, walking uphill. No doubt, this is the worst part of the entire hike. Just going straight up to the hill. But after that, it's nothing but downhill from here because we're gonna try to just exit through the beach and walk along the beach on the way out. While we're walking, might as well give you guys a little bit of information on Torrey Pines. So there's also a Torrey Pines High School, which happens to be on Del Mar Heights. And if you've seen my Del Mar Heights video, Del Mar Heights is really close by. That's where one Paseo is and the Del Mar Heights Shopping Center. So you could also check that out after you visit Torrey Pines. So about eight minutes later, we made it to the top. Well, almost to the top. The hardest part is done with. Boy, I need to get back in shape. This right here is the North Grove Guy Fleming Trail. This trail is only one way, and I think it's just a nice little loop. It'll get you out to get some nice views of the ocean. And I haven't gone down this trail yet, so why not try something new? I think you call this a butte. Correct me if I'm wrong, is this a butte? Because there's a butte down the way but I guess you can't climb up this butte. So correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is a Torrey Pine and this Torrey Pine grows in this area, hence the name Torrey Pines. It's actually a very small tree, very small pine tree, but they grow all around this area. Sorry guys, I'm not a big nature-y person, but I believe I've picked up that fact along the way. Also, don't forget to bring a couple bottles of water while you're on the trail. During the pandemic, all the water fountains are closed, so you won't be able to get water out here unless you bring it yourself. <sighs> also, working with the mantra, work smart, not hard, I decided to come here right at the beginning of fall so that the weather is not as hot as it is in the summer. Right now it's in the low 70s, a little hazy, still sunny, but the weather is pretty nice. Down that way is where we parked. Looks like this is a Torrey Pine right here. No pines though. And check out this beautiful lookout right here. Nice little roundabout of a trail right here. I saw that down the way in Del Mar my Del Mar video, those are like ladybug farms, I believe. Cool, they have them up here too. We're technically on the border of Del Mar, so I can see it's probably the same people that are putting those up. Nice, and as you curve around the way, you can see La Jolla Cove. Now that will be the final video in the beach series. We've done La Jolla Shores, which is where that pier is down in the distance, but we haven't done downtown La Jolla, La Jolla Cove, and that area so that's coming up about three videos from now now comment below are you guys in the hiking would you like to see me do live streams or videos about certain hikes in san diego because there's a ton of different hiking trails around here we got iron mountain cowles mountain potato chip rock torrey pines and so many other spots around town i'm trying to figure out a way to do it i don't know if i'm going to do a standard video or do a live stream but i feel like if i did a live stream up these hikes 
that we'd cut in and out of reception. So I don't know if that's feasible enough. This is how high we're up right now, guys. You want to stay between the lines, these ropes on the trails, because it's a $400 fine if they catch you going off these trails. So you don't want to be paying $400 on your vacation to San Diego. So for all you drone enthusiasts, droning is not allowed on Torrey Pines State Reserve. Don't even think about droning, but if you, if you do, just don't get caught, I guess. You guys know me, you haven't seen any drone shots on my videos lately because I just can't handle the stress of flying a drone. And I've also noticed throughout the years that you guys rather hear about information and useful tips around these places I'm going to more than B-roll. You can go to other channels and check out drone B-roll and drone footage. That doesn't mean that in the future I won't be doing drones again. Here's another trail, Perry Grove Trail. We're not gonna get on that, we're gonna go onto the butte and try to head down to the beach. Don't let the Torrey Pines Lodge sign fool you. There is the Torrey Pines Lodge, but it's still down the ways. But there is parking here and restrooms. Now that's the trail we're looking for, the beach trail. Also, this stretch right here used to be the old school 101, and it'll lead you all the way to the golf course. For y'all that don't really want to hike, there is parking up here. So if you do pay that $20 admission fee and you have your pass, there's a parking lot right here where you can park your car and just immediately get on the beach trail instead of ho hoofing it up the hill. It's over a hundred steps to get down to the beach, but we're on the right trail to get to it now. I believe the butte is around here somewhere. I think it's over in that overlook, but I guess we'll see, we'll figure it out. I believe this is the butte right here. Unless there's another butte, which I won't be surprised. I believe this is the highest point right here in all of Torrey Pines. It's almost like the Lion King, you know, you're going out here for the circle of life. Up here in the butte. All right, so you guys can complain about me not getting to the highest point because I'm up here. Now we're going all the way down, all the way down to the beach trail. But I wanted to show you guys the Red Butte. Nice little overlook to take some pictures and just take the ocean breeze in. <laughs> all right, so that was the least busy I've ever seen the Red Butte. Granted, that's only the second time I've ever been to it. I went here early in the morning, about four years back. We're gonna hopefully get down to the beach trail. Actually, the beach trail. And take the, the steps all the way right down, down here. and just walk along the beach back to the car. So it looks like Yucca Point at this point in time is closed, but Razor Point is open. Now we're headed off the beach trail, but I want to show you guys a little bit of Razor Point. Maybe I could just get it on a, on a shot from above. Now Razor Point, I believe, is these rock formations right here. I'm not going to go too much down further. I want to get down to the beach. So it said over 100 steps ahead. And earlier it said there were over 100 steps ahead. And that was about 100 steps ago. getting a lot lower. Well, let's just hope that it's not high tide right now and the beach is available to walk on. Now it's starting to look a little more level. More stairs there. Finally can see La Jolla Cove down in the distance. There it is. Now it gets slippery here, guys, so watch your step. Well, it looks like the water gives you just enough room to walk around along the beach, so I guess we'll try it.
also says beware of rattlesnakes around here. What? Be aware. Stay covered, stay safer at six feet, and keep clean. All right, guys, made it down by the beach. Now we're walking along the Pacific Ocean and the cliffs. We're gonna take this all the way back down towards where the car is. Sun's out, baby. Beautiful day in San Diego. What better way to end this video with a walk down Torrey Pines State Beach. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video from the Torrey Pines Glider Port to the Torrey Pines Lounge and the golf course and Roberto's Mexican food and then the hiking trail. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps a lot to the distribution of this video on YouTube. Please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get updates on my latest San Diego videos. Next up, we're hitting Mission Beach. We're hitting La Jolla and Solana Beach. So stay tuned for those videos. Also guys, if you wanna support me even further and help me throughout this video series with going to certain restaurants and certain landmarks, please check out Patreon. Link below. All right, Jake Hationers, in the words of Ron Burgundy, stay traveling, San Diego. Mm -hmm.